What is up, guys? Welcome to part two of my Holy Musical Batman reaction. Uh, part one was awesome. The introduction number, like, really everything of part one, about part one was really good. The only thing that could have been better was to get a little more Jeff Blim, but I saw him in the background there shooting Bruce Wayne's parents. And yeah, I mean, that, 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 was, that was good, but I need to hear him sing. I need to hear him and, if possible, Dylan Saunders have some sort of duet. Would be really, really cool. I really hope that I get that in this show. Um, but yeah, no, part one was cool. I got introduced to most people, you know, the commissioner, Batman, Superman, who are apparently feuding, uh, not a good thing. Kind of reminds me of an old college humor video, uh, Batman versus Superman. It was absolutely hilarious. Probably came out after this show. Either way, I'll link to it down in the description. It's, it's a really funny video. Um, but yeah, this has been awesome and I am so excited to get into part two. So let's go ahead and do that. And remember, if you don't want to wait for all of these parts, the whole thing is available on my Patreon right now. Welcome home, Cher. Get rid of it. I never want to see it again. What are you talking about, sir? The plane, Alfred. But Master White, you love this plane. No, I hate that plane. It's a slow plane. Just destroy it. It's <laughs> not just your plane. It's your father's plane. And it's all that's left of him. Don't destroy it. Fine. Then get rid of it. I, I don't know. Send it to Spider-Man. Who cares? Just get it out of my sight. And that is an idea. Spider-Man could use a good plane. Dude, Alfred is doing a great job. Like, that's a wonderful Alfred impression. Swirl. It's rotten, Alfred. Rotten to the core. It's just full of people who... kill your parents and... fly faster than your plane! You know, the one thing that made me happy. The one thing that I liked was being more powerful than everyone else. Soaring godlike in the sky, blasting laser-guided precision missiles, quibbling misguided youngsters that I'd never met. <laughs> <laughs> made me feel like I was worth a damn. But if I can't even fly faster than Superman, <laughs> Might as well die. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, Lencher. Cheer up. You know, there's more to life than senseless violence and extravagant peacocking. Like what? Well, like family and friends. Thanks, sir. Who do you like spending time with? The Joker. But he's in heaven now. Mom and pops. Making them laugh, I just know it. <laughs> the closest thing that I have to a friend is you. But I pay you. Apples and pears. But uh, surely there's somebody else. What about your work friends? <laughs> I've never worked a goddamn day in my life. <laughs> you know that, Alfred. I was the only person I ever see over at Wayne Enterprises is Lucius Fox. Yeah. He's always making me planes and tanks and guns and stuff. <laughs> that means he's my friend, right? Well, there you go. <gasps> One friend. <gasps> Things aren't as bad as they seem. Yeah. Why, I haven't talked to him in a dog's age. I'll give him a call right now. Uh, right now. Well, perhaps I should leave the room first. No, Alfred, you stick around. You can say hi, too. He'll no. love it. No, wait, <laughs> sir, please. I have a confession to make, sir. You're not the only one with a secret identity. <laughs> what? Turn around. The other way. What? That's right. Lucius Fox and Alfred Pennyworth 
by the same person. What? You see, when I was stationed in Burma with your father, this was before the war, I made a promise. I swore that if anything ever happened to him, I would pretend to be your butler. So I, Lucius Fox, took up the guise of Alfred Bunnyworth <laughs> so I could give you words of wisdom 24-7, eight days a week, at work and at home. So, all those times that you cleaned the entire mansion? A ruse. <laughs> and my laundry? I just throw them out at the end of the week. I buy you new clothes. <laughs> so what you're saying is that I... I don't have one friend after all. Aww. <laughs> Alfred! <laughs> How can you do this to me? You got my hopes up so high and then you mugged and shot them in an alleyway. Oh my god. <laughs> Turns out that I can't even trust you after all. You're fired, you old fraud. Get the hell out of the back team. Well, if that's what you bloody want, then fine. Fine. Good. Great. You wouldn't last a day without me. Oh, I will too. What a bet. Yeah. Fuck you. What, fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Prince. <laughs> I don't need any stupid. Alfred. <laughs> Wait. Oh, what have I done? Top of the morning, sir. Oh. Who are you? And how did you get into the back gate? Oh, me? Um, well, the agency just sent me over. Um, um, I'm watching Spacey's replacement. My name is O'Malley, the Irish butler. Good to meet you, O'Malley. God. I'm Batman. And I'm in a bad mood. And... The cave is a mess. Oh, it's a nice cave. You know, before the war, your father used these tunnels to help build the Underground Railroad. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Would you like to be alone? I am alone. This is what it means to be Batman. Darkness. Solitude. This is the life that I have chosen. Nay. The life that has chosen me. <laughs> Poor Master Bruce. He's such a dark, sad, lonely, melancholy man. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Poor Master Bruce, poor Mr. Wayne. Lonely caboose on a woodcut train. And it pains me to watch you amble along This track of loneliness all I down for you I'll remember that horrible night The night you were split in two And I swore I'd protect you And I haven't So I built a wall all around you But the wall was too tall and it blocked out all Like the birds in the sun I try to raise you right. I try to raise you proper. I try to be a mentor and a friend and a mother and a father too. And insulate you from any outside source of fright. I make bloody sure that you'll never see another dark, sad, lonely night. When I look at my life, I see something's not right Like a thousand percent And I wonder what it is, how it is That it's always just me here crying alone at the end of the night A ten thousand percent I put most of the blame on Alfred How come he couldn't take that bullet intended For Mama and Papa I never had a pony. I never had pets. Just a bullshit butler who builds bullshit jets. Oh, pom pom the park. Mama 
Some man got to meet friends in the year 1997. Oh, Mally, get with the times. The personal ads, of course. Let's see here. Single white female seeking old English butler for a good time. Ooh, I'll just keep that one. <laughs> Put it in my pocket. Save it for a rainy day, I will. Let's see. Dogs for sale. No. Orphans for sale? Even better. By the luck of the Irish O'Malley, you've done it again. <laughs> you've reached the voicemail of Batman. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, Batman. It's Superman. Uh... Listen, I'm just calling because I feel like we kind of got off on the wrong foot the other day. You know, I was thinking about it. You're a hero. I'm a superhero. Let's be friends. Ooh. Uh, so me and Aquaman and some of the other guys, we're going to be fighting Solomon Grundy on Monday. And uh, I'd love it if you could be there, you know? You can throw a boomerang at him or whatever you do. I'll probably just punch him. Uh, you know, it's going to be great. 
And uh, also Wonder Woman is gonna be there. So there you go. <laughs> this message is getting kind of long, I guess. So uh, you can just call me back anytime. Actually, no, call me back in the afternoon because all night long I'm busy partying with all my friends at the Fortress of Solitude. <laughs> uh, give me a call back, bye. Hey, the GL. The boy in blue. What's up, my dog? Hey, not too much. Hey, were you just talking to Batman? Yeah, yeah, well, his machine, anyway. Oh, cool. You want a beer? I can make Rolling Rock or Heineken. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> um, I'll have a, a Heineken sounds good. Oh, there you go. Well, Rolling Rock is, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, bud. Cheers. Thanks. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, Superman and the Green Lantern. Oh, man. Hey, oh, can I get a picture? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Oh, no. oh, 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 man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, the Green Lantern. You're, you're like, you're, my kid sister's gonna freak. You're like our second favorite superhero. Hey, hey. Second one. Oh, oh, hey, hey, right thanks. behind Batman. Just look right over right. Smile. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, I want a hug. Oh, great. Great. <laughs> thank you so much. No, no, thank you. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. You have a good day. Here you go. Yoink. Okay. <laughs> Pictures ruined. You cut my head off. You super putz. Hey. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Are you going to take that? I'm used to it. Oh. Man. Fuck Batman. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's wrong with Batman? I don't know. I just feel like he's an overrated hero. You know, the guy doesn't even have any superpowers. And have you seen how many Twitter followers he has? Oh, uh, no, man. I'm not on the Twitter. He's got a lot. More than you. Yeah. But it's not fair because he's got the Twitter name Batman. Someone already took the Twitter name Superman, and all they do is tweet about how dumb I am. Yeah, but who would do a thing like that? I don't know. Some asshole named Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Anyway, my Twitter name is The Real Superman, which, of course, makes it sound like I'm the fake Superman. Well, that's rough, Clark. Wait. You know my secret identity? It's a secret? <laughs> oh, come on. Nobody cares who Superman is. Ouch. You know what else is stupid about Batman is villains. Oh, no, 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 they're classy. No, no, they're, they're corny. And it's just a new guy in a different colored suit wearing a thing on his head making puns based off of his stupid theme. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about it like that before. Yeah, Riddler, guy in a suit, thing on his head. Mad Hatter, guy in a suit, thing on his head. <laughs> Two-Face, guy in a suit, scar on his head. Two-Face is the worst. It's like his theme is just the number two. What's he gonna do? Rob the Second National Bank of all of its $2 bills? God forbid Gotham run out of $2 bills. <laughs> Anything goes with these guys in Gotham. You know? I, it's like, I bet the next person that Batman's gonna fight is gonna be... So, what's the stupidest thing I can think of? Uh, uh, candy. A candy-themed villain. Yeah. Somebody who kills people with candy. Yeah, but if they're so stupid, why are they so famous? They're only famous because Batman screws up all the time and lets them kill people. You know, my villains never get that chance. It's like, have you ever heard of Mr. Mitspitlick? No. No. That's right. It's because I do my damn job. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, I'm the most powerful superhero, so shouldn't I be the most popular? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, hold on. My ring is ringing. Yeah, hello? Uh-huh. Oh, crap. Uh, back to Oa. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. <clears throat> I gotta go. What's up? Sinestro's forming an evil course. The Guardians is, yeah, work stuff. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll just see you on Monday, I guess. Why? Dude, Solomon Grundy thing. You're coming, right? Oh, uh, yeah. 
Maybe. Hey! You've reached the voicemail of... Wonder Woman! Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, Wonder Woman! It's Superman! So, uh... I knew you were kind of on the fence about that whole Solomon Grundy thing, but I just wanted to tell you that, uh, Batman is going to be there. So, there you go. Oh, no. Oh, Superman. Poor, poor, nerdy Superman. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's get Pig. God, Batman is such a child, and I love it. It's so fucking funny. Oh no, Superman beat my plane. I hate it. It's a dumb plane. Get rid of it. I don't want to see it anymore. Give it to Spider-Man. Like, what a spoiled rich kid. <laughs> and he plays it so well. Um, but Alfred, though, I was so impressed with Alfred. Like, his song, his accent, like... Everything about how that actor played Alfred was great, was spot on, but I don't know who he is. Like, if I've seen him before, that's my bad, because I probably should have recognized him, but I have no idea. So, like, please, if you guys know down in the comments, please let me know, because he is incredibly impressive. As far as I'm going to call him, uh, like first, co first time me seeing him in a Star Kid show, he is really, really, really good. <laughs> um the whole alfred as lucius thing how they're the same person that seems so off of the wall and so absolutely ridiculous like i does it come back no don't tell me don't tell me no spoilers no spoilers at all um but like that's such an odd thing to have happen like it, it, was that mentioned in the comic books of them being the same thing? Is that like a fan theory that's popular that I have never heard of before? Um, I kind of want it to come back, though. I kind of want to see how the writers uh, like actually deal with that, because that is a very interesting thing to say. <laughs> very interesting. Um, but like, I, I feel like I just I, I have to go on and on, though, about somebody's buddy. I, I want that's probably the name of it. I don't know that for sure, but. You guys know the song I'm talking about. That was such an amazing number. Like, I, 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 once I watch all the Star Kid shows, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna rewatch them, and I'm gonna kind of you know make lists like, oh, these are my favorite musicals, my favorite numbers, my favorite characters, favorite actors, that kind of thing. Um, but just right now, just thinking of my other favorite Star Kid songs, Somebody's Buddy might be my favorite song that I've ever seen in a star kid show like that that song had everything it was so so good and so beautiful like and i loved the uh like the the the, the synth it was a real 80s kind of style music to it the synthesizer and like the drum machine was really good it really set the mood for it and then you had alfred singing and then the uh the chorus would kind of pop in just the like the doot doot doos by the uh by the the women that weren't on stage yet and then Joe came out. And when Joe took over, oh my God. Like, oh man, he had a chance to just bring it. And he did. He was so good. He was just showing off that whole damn song. It was absolutely incredible. And then the chorus came in while they were still doing the, the doo doo doos uh, with the bat puppets. Of course, it's a Star Kid show, there's gonna be puppets. And it was so cool. It was so well done. And the chorus at the end where everybody is singing the the somebody's buddy. And then it cuts down to just the superheroes singing it. Just the Green Lantern, Superman, and Batman. And then just Batman there at the end. Like how that song, how that entire number was composed, how it was made and everything. That was just, it was, it was, it was flawless. It was absolutely flawless, and I loved every second of it. God, it's going to be a hard song to top for the rest of this show. Like, I hope it didn't just peak 45 minutes into the show. <laughs> um, but Dylan, though, Dylan is the Green Lantern. Literally anything Dylan does, it's going to be hilarious. It's going to be really good. 
And yeah, he is super funny. And I'm really excited to see what the Green Lantern does later on in this show. I am just so impressed with this show such a short amount of time into it. And that's just, that's just great. This, yeah, if it keeps up, this may be one of my top three favorite Star Kid shows. But it's early, but it's early. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching it. It's been a lot of fun. And I will see you in a couple of days for part three.